Hi, I'm Leslie McVean. Welcome to another CTN member highlight. Today I'm with Dale Robin Goodman. Goodman. Oh my gosh, I almost said your old name. Hi. Hi. Bienvenue. Oh, thank you. Welcome to our Mardi Gras. Yes, the 20th annual. It is. WMPG Mardi Gras Cajun Cook Cooking Challenge. Oh my gosh, we've got the beads. We do have the beads. We've got the attitude and we've got the ballot. So tell us a little bit about this. Well, you know, we've been doing this for 20 years and um, it's a big hit. People love this event. And why do they love this event? It's a celebration of everything local. Local restaurants pulling out their best Cajun and Creole creations. And, up here um, in the frigid tundra. Well, it warms you up. It makes you sweat, actually, from what I hear. I haven't been around the room yet. but um, And we have New Orleans music all day. And at 1 o'clock, we have Rob Sylvain playing live music. So it's just about the music, the sounds and the tastes of New Orleans. So we need that this winter, don't we? Yes, we do. So Fat Tuesday it has become a real tradition. And you get more and more people every year and more and more of the restaurants want to participate. Well, yes, um, it's not that big this year, but yeah, it's a real popular event. Our listeners wait to hear about when it's going to be. The USM community and the greater Portland community, everybody loves to come out to it. Now, you know, this year it's not the real Fat Tuesday. Real Fat Tuesday is a week from today. Don't tell anyone. Well, <laughs> <laughs> We've been telling people so that they don't miss out on all the other stuff next week. So they but can have two Fat Tuesdays. <laughs> they can. <laughs> We're doing it early because USM is on vacation next week. So, um, But we are having a blast. You see all these revelers here tasting and enjoying. And it's just so much fun. It's a, it's our big party. It's a, it's a big thank you to the Portland and Southern Maine communities for making WMPG what it is. At which is one of the best radio stations in the country. That's what we hear. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they're listening down there in New Orleans. I think they're not. I think they're <laughs> in the streets having fun, and they're not shoveling snow. That's for sure. Well, I'm looking forward to trying some of this great stuff. Have you have you been around yet? I haven't been around yet. I've been doing other things, but um, this year we have Bayside Bowl and Bent Lifts. Do you know that Bent Lifts is changing its name to Bayside American Cafe? No, I so didn't. So this is their last year here as Bent Lifts. We have the Congress Bar and Grill. We have, did I say Bayside Bowl? I you did. did oh, Aramark. The USM Dining has some fabulous thing planned. Oh. Um, it has bourbon. Yeah, that sounds like I know. fun. I'm going to that table. <laughs> I'll meet you there. Okay, and then of course Izzy comes with his cheesecake uh, because it's it cools off the mouth after all that wonderfully spicy food. Gritty's is here, oh. and who else is here? Oh, I've got a list did here. I, did I, I think anybody? you covered just did about I? everyone. Boys and pickles. Did I say poor boys and oh, pickles? Oh no! How could well, you how forget could we, that? How could we have uh, Mardi couldn't. Gras without poor boys and pickles? No, you couldn't. They're so. authentic. But I think, and every one of these um, have at least participated before. Oh, yes, yes. Or, or Some of them are one. winners. They're Bayside winners. Bowl is yeah. one. and yeah. Last year, I think. Uh, yes, and... Mm -hmm. um, Poor Boy Pickles. Poor Bo and, uh, wait, uh, last year, uh, Congress has won. Yeah. Congress Bar and Grill. Yeah. Yeah, and, so... And so people have to take one of these. And I know people were like, give me a ballot, give me a ballot. Yeah, and yeah, because they want to see their favorite win. Yeah. Yeah, and we want to hear what you have to say. And there is vegetarian fare out there a little bit. Not I've much, heard that. I've heard that, yeah. So, yeah. All right, so thank you Thanks for, for doing coming. this. Now, 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 you, now you, once we're done talking, you get to go around the tables, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to talk to some of the people at oh, the good. table. So yeah. thank oh, you. Oh, they have wonderful things. Thank you for doing this. Oh, and let's, our pleasure. Another 20 wonderful. years at least. Right? Wonderful to have you. Okay, thank you. Thanks. I'm here with Ian Ross with Airmark USM Dining. Hi, Ian. Hi, how are you? Fine. Well, you know, you don't usually think of university cafeterias as having a chef who does this kind of great stuff. Yes, well, it's good that I have a lot of background in this uh, Cajun cooking as well. So, I mean, it is, it is a plus. So, with my culinary background, I was actually able to help these guys out and uh, produce a nice Cajun meal for everyone. So tell us a little bit about that background. Sure, so uh, today we uh, made a shrimp and scallop etouffee. Normally it's made with a shellfish where a gumbo is usually done with like a chicken or a sausage or something along those lines. Um, so we did just a classic etouffee, simple dish. It's basically uh, made by the Acadians who uh, came down from the Can Canada, uh, Quebec area, also from France as well. Um, it's uh, very 
they used um, product that was basically given to them on the land. They didn't go out and search for things. They just, whatever they had around their area is what they used. So they're, you'll see the peppers, the onions, the celery, that's their holy, holy trinity as far as what their vegetables are used. And then they would use crawfish, scallops, shrimp, any shellfish, anything. anything. Throw it right in there. Exactly. And that's, that was their main staple it's dish. It's called etouffee? A tef, etouffee. 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 Are you from New Orleans? No, I am not. No, I'm <laughs> actually from New Hampshire, so no, no, I'm not from there. Close. But I've done, a lot, I've done a lot of cooking it's with the It's got the new in front of it, right? Yeah, it's exa new. Yeah, it's new. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So, so this you add a little bit of bourbon to. Well, this is actually something a little separate. This is uh, yeah. called Sazerac. It's a uh, traditional cocktail uh, made down in New Orleans. Um, it's an uh, anisette, uh, a dry risk, uh, whiskey or a rye bourbon, and a touch of bitters and simple syrup. Shake that together, and then you got a you nice got little a deadly cocktail. concoction. Exactly, <laughs> wonderful concoction. Well, this looks fabulous, and um, and I've heard of Etouffee. My son-in-law's from Baton Rouge oh, really? and nice. New Orleans, Very both nice. his family, and this is what they eat. All right. Well, this yeah. is a great meal. I hope everyone comes down and tries it. Well, thank you. It, right. it, it, you're getting a lot of uh, checks on the check sheet. That's good. That's what we're looking for. Thanks, Ian. All right. Nice I'll to meet you. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you. Now I'm with Scott from Pull Boy and Pickles. Hi, Scott. Hi. How are you, so Leslie? You're, you're a prep cook at the at the place, right? I, I am. I am. I've been there for about six months. And you know how to use a knife. Absolutely. Absolutely. We, uh, we have a lot of prep work that we do every day to make sure all, all the food is fresh. And uh, we're always putting out new products to our customers. Well, I just tried your red beans and rice. Is that what it is? That is. How would you like it? I liked it, and it, because it's got a lot of more than red beans and rice in there. Oh, absolutely. There's uh, andouille sausage, as well as the ends of all the uh, hams that we use for our deli slicing for the other sandwiches. Oh. We put all the ends in there as well, and we cook it all together slow, so uh, it gets all the, the meaty flavor in it. And that's kind of traditional, isn't it? Whatever it is. meat you had around would it, go in the pot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. And, and the andouille sausage is totally traditional. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Oh, so, it makes a great flavor. So, um, why did Po' Boy and Pickles start up here in the cold north of Maine here? I guess that's a good question. I, uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I, uh, I believe it's because the owner, Pete, um, lived down in Louisiana for when he was doing college. Um, and so when he came back here, he decided that he wanted to bring that flavor of, uh, you know, what he had been experiencing while he was down there back up here and, uh, you know, let everybody else enjoy it. He wanted to spice us up. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I did try it. It was great. And I'm happy I, you enjoyed it. I'm having so much fun. I'm getting really cool. full walking around this table. Cool. Well, make sure you get some beads. And, uh, and uh, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, Scott. Thanks. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Well, I'm with Jim Rand, the station manager at WMPG. Hi, Jim. Hi. Have you been here all 20 years? I have. <laughs> yes. Where did the time go, right? Well, it's hard to say, but... <laughs> We're okay. here today, and it's a great time. And did you sample everything? I have. I've actually gone around twice. Oh, well, as you should. Yes. Uh, I could do that, too. Uh, well, it's some fine food today. And I suppose you have to be diplomatic, so you can't tell us your favorite. No, I can't. <laughs> I haven't well, chosen yet. We'll let you get away I with actually that. Never, I never do vote. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, they're all good. Past years, I've put an amateur entry in, but this year, it's just too snowy. Well, say something really special about WMPG. Well, this is our party for the community. We appreciate everyone who comes out and supports us, and we uh, we love doing it. And thanks for all the restaurants also. It's just a great time. Yeah. And everybody who does the programs on WMPG, they're, vol they're all volunteers. All volunteers, that's right. We have so over 100 programs and uh, all community members, your friends and neighbors are on the radio. And they're there day after day, hour after hour, hour year after, after hour. year. 24 hours a day. We've got some DJs that have been there for two weeks, some that have been there for 20 years. It's so much fun. I, I took a turn at it twice, uh -huh. and I loved it. I mean, I thought, you can come in your pajamas to work and no one knows. You can. That's right. It's not like being on TV. No, it's not. And there's a sense of freedom and... And, and adventure about it. There, there is. The managers have no idea really what the programmers are going to play. They program in all the content of the programs. Yeah. I love it. And 
I don't know what I'd do without it. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for coming and, and filming it today. All right. We enjoy it. I like to eat the food. Yes, yes. <laughs> Take care. All right. Bye. Well, I'm with the sweetest guy here, <laughs> David Eisenstadt, who owns Izzy's Cheesecake. Yes, that's right. Well, this is this this part of the uh, go round here is one of the most popular parts. It has really not an awful lot to do with New Orleans, right? Not really, but <laughs> but it'll do. But I've been a big supporter of MPG for over 20 years. That's the important part here. So we started doing this a few years ago. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, and everyone loves it. I don't know what they'd do if they didn't have right. a little bit of sweet at right. the end it's of this. It's nice to have that yeah. after all that spicy food. Yeah, and how long have you had Izzy's? About 25 years now. Wow, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, based right here in Portland. Yes, uh huh. And where were you before that? Did you have any kind of cooking talent? Yeah, I went. To, I was traveling all over the country. Graduate of the CIA and oh. traveled all over the country. Oh. And started out of my apartment in the early in the mid 80s. Oh my goodness! Yep. And now look at you, That's the most right. famous cheesecake <laughs> place ever. <laughs> we love it. Great. Well, it's, it's glad. I'm glad that people know the name and recognize it. And Just tell me. It looks like you've got maybe two or three different kinds of cheesecake here. Tell us what you have. We have an eggnog cheesecake that's made with dark rum, Ooh. turtle cheesecake, chocolate marble, oh. pumpkin white chocolate, and we have a lemon lime also. Oh, I got to try that pumpkin. <laughs> Thank you so much, Izzy. You're welcome. I'll let you get back to work. Okay. There are a lot of people waiting. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I'm here with Ian and Kate, who have been almost all the way around the table. What do you think, Ian? Uh, it's delicious. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. You got a favorite? Yeah, you can. I won't tell are we anyone. To share our favorites. You can if you want. <laughs> We're you divided. Want are you? Currently. Oh, I love it. It's a heated debate between uh, Bayside Bowls artichoke soup for Kate. Oh. Yeah, and bent lifts uh, gumbo for oh. me. Oh, tell us about the artichoke soup. I haven't been there yet. I thought it was tasty, and it's not too spicy, which I like. And the taste of artichokes is yeah. just delicious. Yeah. Do you come every year? I do. Yeah. This is my first time. What do you think? I love it. It's a great idea. You on the list for next year? <laughs> yes. I'm. I'm here with Larson Viljanin, who's a student volunteer at WMPG. Hi, Larson. Hi, how's it going? It's going great. Now, um, you help out with a program over there. Which one is that? I help out with uh, Local Motives. Uh, it's, we have bands from the area come in, and we help do live sound, and they play for about an hour, and they talk about music. And it's really fun. Um, it's every Friday from 7.30 to about 9 o'clock. In the evening? Yep. Yeah. It's a great show. And and how do you find the bands? Um, well, we kind of we ask around, and then sometimes they come to us, but we're always looking for more. So if anyone knows anybody or if they're interested, feel free to, to uh, contact the station. Um, just email Jim Rand, um, and yeah, it'll be fun. So what about our local talent is, is exciting that we, you want to share with our audience? I feel like Maine really has, like, Oh, really good players in almost every genre. It's very, and everybody really knows each other, and there's just so much talent here that just, you know, you might not be exposed to normally if you don't go out every night and see them in the old port and stuff like that. And now you have a chance to preview them all on WMPG from 7 to 9 on Friday night. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your major? Are you a music major? I'm actually going for psychology. But all right. That actually will work with anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We'll listen to your show. Oh, well, thank you. All right. And have a good day. Oh, yeah. Cheers. I'm here with Jared Radding, the kitchen manager kitchen at Bayside Bowl. Hi, Jared. Hello. Now, you were the winners last year of this cook-off. Uh, yes, we were. We won last year and then... Um, not the year before, but the year before that. So you're uh, you're probably you know you've got the you're racking up the trophies. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's like a every every other year thing for us. Yeah. Well, this year you've done something extremely wonderful and special. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, it's just a uh, oyster and artichoke soup and uh, your basic like onions and ca um, garlic, celery, and a cream, and a little bit of. A little bit of other ingredients. <laughs> well, I know I asked you earlier, I said, well, that doesn't seem real New Orleans to me, but it is on the menu down there a lot, yeah, the artichokes. Uh, yeah, it's uh, something you just find there, and obviously the Gulf has lots of oysters, so up here I figured we have lots of oysters, so I'll just make this. Similar 
similar foods, but with a little spice to it. A little spice to it, yes. Yeah. Well, it's great, and I hope that you'll serve this down at Bayside. Uh, uh, we probably will. I think it'd get me bowling. <laughs> <laughs> I might just go for the food. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thanks, Jared. Thank you. All right, I'm with Anthony Belanger, a student here at USM. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Fine. What year are you? Uh, somewhere between sophomore and junior. That's a good place here. to be. Yeah. So trying to decide your major. Yeah, uh, I think I'm going to be an athletic training major. And he's in training right now for his uh, stomach. Yeah, <laughs> trying to stretch it out, get yeah. my jaw working. Yeah, that's a really good idea. So tell me, you've been all around the table, because yep. I see you've got Izzy's cheesecake in your hand. Oh yeah. Have you got a favorite? I won't tell anyone. Uh, I'm trying to remember which ones. I think it was Bent Lifts. Yeah. yeah that and they had the gumbo? Oh, yeah. Oh. It was wicked good. Was it spicy? Uh, a little bit. I mean, I'm used to some really spicy stuff, but it was pretty good. Now, why are you used to spicy stuff? Uh, my dad makes a lot of spicy food at home. And yeah. Are you from Maine? Yeah, I am. Yeah. And do you listen to WMPG every day? Just about. I mean, I have some, I, I listen to it quite a bit. Yeah. It's on my like top six that I listen to. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. It's the best. You can oh, yeah. hear anything there. Everything. 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 And, and stuff you never even dream they oh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like I, all the ethnic stuff, I love it. Oh, so do I. And it's like, it gets you like going. Yeah, it's not like the other crap music that they put on all these, all these other stations nowadays. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go finish your cheesecake because right. you probably have a class. Uh, yeah, in a little while. I got some studying to do yeah, now. Yeah, well, you gotta go study. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. How Hi. Are you? I'm um, uh, here with Sean Steinmark yep. from Bentliff's ben American ben Cafe. Yep. Hi. How are you? Well, I came running over here because there's a buzz going around. Oh, yeah. Bentliff's gumbo is pretty good. Oh, yeah. It's our sous chef's recipe. We do it like a special every once in a while. Well, so. before I started to talk to you I had to try it and it is absolutely wonderful good 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 perfect combination of spices good yeah especially with the sweet corn cakes it's a corn it's a cornbread batter basically just a little sweeter like southern style oh. um, so the sweet so you get the sweet and the spicy so. I thought that was a nice touch and, and crown it with that little cornbread yeah 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 it's delicious, yeah, delicious. very nice so you've done this several years uh, yep yep uh, I think this is my third time doing it so yeah. And, and it's a lot of fun. Yes, definitely. And you're supporting what? The most wonderful radio station ever? Oh, absolutely. We do it every year. We love coming. So yeah. we love just having us here. So. Yeah, well, thank you. Um, I look forward to coming and having this on the regular menu. And we'll be there. <laughs> right, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, my goodness. I'm here with the Blues Doctor. Hi. <laughs> Hi you don't know how excited I am. Well, I'm pretty excited to be here myself on, on the first Mardi Gras day. I know it. You are... You know, an institution on WMPG. Well, it's been 26 years. It's going to be 26 years I've been doing the Evening Sun Show on WMPG. Oh, my gosh. And the blues is nothing better than the blues. And nothing more oh, American. Uh, Southern Soul Party Blues and Zydeco. That's what I do, baby. All right. So I've been to, uh, to the Jazz Fest down in New Orleans last year. I, I was converted. I want to go the rest of my life every year. Well, now, have, you, have you got your tickets yet for this year? You, no. need, you need to hurry up and do it. I know. Now you how, tell everybody. I have, my, I have my ticket already. But tell our audience how many times you've been. Well, this will be, I think, year 27 in a row. Oh. Since, since 1989, I haven't missed a year. I am so jealous. Well, I tell you, it's been a great thing, and there's nothing like the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. So, are you from the Maine? No, no, I'm right for here from Westport, Maine, originally. All yes. right, and what got you doing this program over at WMPG? Well, I've always been a blues fan ever since the late 50s, and uh, one night I was at the late great Raoul's Roadside Attraction, and uh, Ed Mad Dog Noise, who used to run the blues strip on MPG, Got to talking to him, and he found out I had a lot of blues records, etc. And uh, asked me if I wanted to do the Tuesday show because the lady that was doing it was leaving. Oh. I said, "Well, yeah, but I never had any training." So he said, "Well, come on up on Tuesday. I'll train you." <laughs> I go up there at 4:30 on a Tuesday. I'm on the air at five, <laughs> and he leaves. <laughs> oh. And so the I rest is the rest is history. <laughs> the rest is history. Yes. <laughs> Well, have you got a favorite uh, food over here? Oh, it's, here? All, it's all good. I enjoyed it all. I, I, I have a hard time picking. You are a diplomat. I am. <laughs>
Well, thank you. Well, you're welcome, and I'll see you at Jazz Fest. I hope so. Oh, you will, because I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Well, now I've got the hardest job ever, selecting which of the food choices was the best. So I think I'm going to have to go around one more time and sample them. This is Leslie McVeigh for CTN Member Highlights. Ciao.